you firebenders had some guts. I don't know where this will all lead. The one thing I do know is, this is just the beginning. Welcome back to The Morning Wrap. That was a clip from the highly anticipated series Avatar The Last Airbender, which premieres today. Joining me now is one of the stars from the show, Lim K. Su. I mean, looking at that production value, I imagine that it took a while to get this out. So how does it feel to finally see it streaming on Netflix? It's amazing. It's more than I thought it would be. Um, the effects, the sound and the, and the picture are so deep that uh, I was so surprised at how deep it was. So. I thought, how are we going to match this, you know? But uh, that's why I think they made it more dramatic than the animation. And it's awesome. I and, love it. And talk to me about your role. Who do you play and how do you, how right. do you uh, fit into everything? OK, Christine. I'm Monk Gyatso, who is Aang, the, the, the main character's first mentor. And uh, this is 100 years ago in the story. And he's childlike. He's, he's a mentor, but he's wise and powerful. But he's very childlike because he's Aang's best friend as well. So it's a beautiful character play, you know. And Gyatso, um, he, his name is ex exactly the same name as the current Dalai Lama, mm -hmm. who is Tenzin Gyatso. And I was very inspired by that when I found that out. Because uh, Gyatso means ocean. And the Tibetan philosophy of ocean is that the ocean is very powerful and full of waves, but don't try to command the waves or to change it in any way. Just roll with it. And let's talk about shooting, where you filmed. I know you uh, filmed in Vancouver. Can you talk yeah. about the set? Because you, you see this production value. You know that a lot of this was green screens and effects. Talk yes. about that. The green screens were amazing, and we were acting with just imagining things around us. But the magic for me is when we filmed in the same studio as they shot The Mandalorian. Mm. And this studio has panels all over, and it takes on 3D projections. And so it's state of the art technology, and I was blown away. I saw the clouds moving and the birds flying, and I almost lost my lines, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what is that like as an actor when so much of it is make believe and you're having to interact with green screens and, and effects behind you? What is that make your job harder? It would do, except that I was acting with Gordon Cormier, no. all 11 or 12 years old of him, uh -huh. who was so accomplished and so experienced that he, he grounded me in the love, in the playfulness. I, I, was, I was so honored to act with this, with this boy who is now turning into a man as I meet him this year. Uh, I really appreciate everything that he gave me. He's a very talented, gifted actor and a very generous person, just like Aang. So it, it was awesome. And so how long ago did you film this? Oh, um, between November and June 2022 and 2023. Okay. So it was a long yeah. shoot schedule. It was. I was flying back and forth from Singapore to Vancouver like five times. All right, so show us your shirt and talk to us about this, because this is something separate from The Last Airbender. Yes, this is the Neo Kalei Limbs. My wife and I, Neo Suilin, who's a fellow actor, we started streaming during COVID times because there was no theater work and there was mm -hmm. no jobs. And we play ukulele. We started doing that seven years ago. And there was a new dynamic to our relationship. We're married 32 years. And three years ago, we started doing this, and there was new joy and new love in our relationship. And when she started to stream on Facebook and Instagram, and eventually now we're partners on Twitch, that kind of joy and love kind of, it kicked in for us, you know? So people started coming into our stream and loving our stream, and it became almost like a new career. And um, as actors, we were so happy that we could control the content of our stream, because as actors, we have very little control in the content. We have to serve the writer, then we serve the director, and then we add in our own two cents worth, you know, what involves us. But here on streaming, we're okay. controlling the content and what we love. All right, thank you so much. That does it for us. Thanks for watching The Morning Wrap.